everyone! Today we have an awesome treat for you guys because our friend Karen is going to show us how she does her gorgeous coloring. She is using Pro Markers and Flex Markers. They are alcohol-based markers, which is similar to Copic markers or, or Spectrum Noir markers. So any type of alcohol-based marker will work for this cool blending technique. So thank you so much to Karen for sharing with us and have fun watching her video! Hi, this is Karen. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I color the critters on this lawn fawn card. Of course I start out by stamping my image and I uh, often use craft foam underneath to get the best result when I stamp. And I use distress ink so that it won't start bleeding once I start coloring my images. I usually stamp at least two or three of the same image so I can mess up and that usually prevents that from happening. Yeah. Then, uh, this is what I do. I go to my uh, little homemade uh, markers chart and look at the colors and see what colors I think would work well together. This time I thought pink, turquoise, and brown would be beautiful. I'm going to start with the little dragon. So I take out my uh, turquoise markers and this is how I keep them. I put the, the uh, markers that go tone on tone uh, together with the rubber band so I always get them right out of the box, the ones I want. And I'm going to start with the lightest one. I think this one is called Cool Aqua. And uh, yeah, I color it in and I leave the parts where I, uh, it doesn't really show here, but I leave the parts I want the lightest uh, white to start with. So that would be the top of the head, the top of the wings, and then the top of the his little feet and maybe the tail too. Then I go to the second lightest uh, turquoise color I have uh, and do the parts where he has there's some shadow. and that would be underneath the wings and under the head. Then I go back with the lightest marker just to even out and blend, blend those two colors together. I still leave the white parts out. Then I go back with the darker uh, turquoise color and fill in uh, the darkest parts of him, like with underneath. Uh, the wings again, on the wings and underneath the head. There's a little tummy. Like that. And then I would go back with the lightest one again so that I mix those three tones together to get the little, uh, get him to look more dimensional. Like that. And then uh, his me. I use champagne, I think it's called, and then two darker brown colors like that, just a, s a strip of each. And then I go back with the champagne. I get the little horns and shadow too. And go back with an even darker uh, color of turquoise to get those whatever they're called in English, those points <laughs> on his tail. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the second critter. Um, I just do the same thing. I leave out the parts that I want really, really light, uh, white, and uh, yeah, color the rest with the lightest brown color I have. Go back with the uh, second brightest and get those shadows uh, started. And what's good is because I'm going to trim this or cut this out so I don't have to be that careful to stay inside the lines. Which can be nice sometimes. So Try to find the spots where there would be shadows and we would work those the darkest and then I, I'd go back with the lightest one and then you see I 
cover uh, the spaces I've left white I cover uh, now with the light brown again and I get those to be a little bit lighter than than the rest and so here's for the uh, feathery head I use some cool gray uh, shadows or then I do the same thing with his little beak. I go, I leave a part white, then go in with the darker color and go back with the lighter one and cover almost the whole thing. And that's him. Also, I thought I'd show you um, the big pair of scissors I use for uh, cutting him out. The first thought is probably to take out a really small one, but I like to use this really large one. It makes me much steadier on hand when working. So that's just a, a tip for you. Don't go for the smaller one. It's, this is much, much easier. I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> anyway, when I'm done with that, I uh, I take out a regular black marker. It doesn't have to be any special kind. And I go over uh, him and cover those white edges with, with, black, with the black marker. And uh, yeah, it really, uh, it really does change the, the finish of the card if you've paid attention to small details like that. And there he is. So it's just to add him to the card like this. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this video. And uh, if you want to see more of my cards, uh, please visit my blog. Peppermint Patty's Papercraft.blogspot.se. Have a great day. Bye.